Right now, I am standing on the most affordable 22-foot center console I have found here at the Miami International Boat Show. Come aboard and let's take a look. on guys Ryan from Living Salt here today we are checking out the sea chaser boats here at the Miami International Boat Show right now we are on their 22 foot center console and guys we'll let you know the price at the end of this video but I was jaw dropped when I saw the price of this absolutely beautiful boat so as always we are going to start up in the bow of the boat over here so we are going to have a very comfortable u-shaped seating situation up here we're going to have some nice backrest over here along with some cup holders and you also have a nice little convenient step up here in case you have to come hop up on the bow of the boat. Speaking of the bow of the boat we're going to have a pulpit off the end along with our anchor locker which is going to have storage. It doesn't have one in it. It almost looks like you have room for a windlass. Not sure about that but looks like you might be able to have one on this boat. Now underneath our forward seating over here we are going to have some storage capabilities. These are both insulated fish boxes so whether you want to load them down with ice and store some fish in there or you want to throw some covers or bumpers or dock lines or anything like that you can use these cabins for them as well. Now a feature I want to point out here on these hatches is that there's going to be gaskets lining them which is going to make for a softer close and going to keep it more watertight and that is something I saw on a bunch of the high-end boats here at the boat show. Now we are going to have a backrest here for our forward-facing seating which is going to be very comfortable here for your guests sitting in the front. And now in the deck of the boat we are going to have a floor hatch underneath which opens up very easily. You can see we have a little bit of storage capabilities in there. And on top of this hatch, we are going to have a removable table. So that way, if you guys want to break out the sandwiches at the sandbar or have a little bit of wine or something like that on the boat here, you have a table to do so. Now we are sitting in the forward facing seating here at the bow of the boat. You can see it's very comfortable. The T-top kind of like wraps around like I'm sitting in a cage. And we actually have handlebars on the side too. So if your driver of the boat's a little bit crazy, you have plenty of options to hold on up here. Now underneath this seating, we are going to have a little bit of storage. You can see it's going to be a little one, but it's still going to do the job. You can take a look right in there. So we're actually going to have a forward live well up in here, which is very surprising. I thought this was just going to be a little cooler area, but that is a very nice feature I did not expect here on this 22 Sea Chaser. Now on the port side of the boat, we are going to have our cabin, which is not going to be the biggest cabin in the world here, but we're going to go ahead show that on in there that is going to be pretty much just kneeling room only you're not going to be able to fit a head in there um, but it is going to be good for just throwing some extra backpacks storage any of that kind of stuff throw your boat covers in there that is perfect for this little cabin now we are at the helm station here of the 22 sea chaser you can see pretty simple but you have everything you need all your switches easily accessible right over here your build switches live wells all that kind of stuff we're going to have a half acrylic windshield over here, which is going to get the job done of keeping that wind off of your face. If it starts to get a little rainy, you might want some curtains or anything like that or some foul weather gear, but this is going to do the job for you here. Now up top on the T-top, we are going to have a little hatch over here, which is going to be perfect for your, maybe your radio controls and maybe your VHF there as well. Now taking a look at the helm seat over here, this is going to be my favorite style helm, helm seat, the bench style. On the back of this, we're going to have four rod holders here as well. Guys, this is a very comfortable helm and everything you need. Right behind the helm seat, we're actually going to have like, I like to call it a little mini uh, tackle station. So we're going to have two cup holders along with a little platform here that we can do any sort of rigging, put down some sinkers, any of that kind of stuff. Guys, it's the little stuff like this that I noticed in the boats, just because they could have went basic and just not had any of this. Could have just easily taken this out, made it a little bit cheaper. But the fact that they did include this really just thinks about the angler and the boater here. Very nice feature here on the Sea Chaser. Right underneath our little tackle station here, we are going to have a cooler. This has this little netting here too, which I've never really seen before. And that's going to keep this cooler in place along with allowing you to store some stuff in here. So maybe some lures or something like that, or I'm not really sure exactly what I put in here. Probably would have to use it for a little bit, but it does give you that option. And that is a very cool feature on this boat. The one thing I do want to point out before we move on to the stern of the boat is our T-top over here. So we're going to have four more rocket launchers along the top. And you're going to be shocked when you guys see the price that you guys are getting a 
hard top here on this 22 foot center console with four molded in speakers as well. Guys, that is not something I expected to see on this boat for the price. Now taking a look at our forward facing rear seating over here, we're gonna have some beautiful seating options along with a backrest here for your guests to be very comfortable. In addition, you're gonna get a little bit of storage underneath. So you take a look at the starboard side here. We're gonna have one little insulated fish box over here. On the port side of the boat, we're gonna have a actually really nice big live well back here with the Sea Chaser logo engraved in the top. And now another really impressive thing on this boat here is gonna be the middle seat underneath with some very nice hydraulic lifting pistons, pistons might I add is going to be some access to your bilge. Now this is mostly just gonna be battery access. You can see two batteries or two batteries can be here along with your switch here, but the bilge goes way back in there, which is gonna be better accessed by the hatch that is in the transom of the boat. Now taking a look at the back of the boat over here, we are going to be powered by a Suzuki 200 outboard engine. Now getting into the moment, I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for the price. Now, before I let you guys know the price, I do want to mention that this Sea Chaser is, or Sea Chaser in general, is made by Carolina Skiff. If you guys aren't familiar with Carolina Skiff, they make a really good boat. It's a lot of times used for work boats. They're workhorses. They are very well made boats and they are very affordable. That being said, guys, this 22 foot Sea Chaser can be yours, this exact one here, for a $63,000 Bocho special price. Now that is going to be an absolutely awesome deal, guys. I'm telling you, you're not getting anywhere close to that with any of the other boats here of this size and this class here at the Miami International Boat Show or any of the boat shows you guys go to looking for brand new boats. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button. Definitely consider subscribing down below. I'm gonna go ahead and link my affordable boat video I made last year at the Miami International Boat Show over here on the left side of the video. You guys should definitely go check that out. Thank you again for watching. Until my next video, remember to keep living salty.